So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. On to Act 3 and Sonny's Murder. And our new building out we get in the Upper East Side, the Hotel St George, where you can get narcotics and two money as well at the front end. So, on to family business. And with these jobs that have come out, it's no surprise that Rogue's first action, yet again, is going to be to go there with a family member, getting her two blood money and jobs. And she'll discard intimidation. And she can also suitcase something. So what does she want to suitcase? She's going to suitcase a $2. I'm not going to be able to beat her to the two blood money, the muscle in. But if I go here, while she's doing the muscle in, I'll at least be able to do the muscle out. So that gives me a dollar and a blood money. And then of course, Rogue is going to be muscling in. So that gets her two two dollar bills, which I'll put in her hand and she can take a figure and put it on the board. So where does she want to place it? She'll just go back there, I think, get two more blood money and some more jobs. She's going to discard a shakedown and she can still suitcase something. So she's going to suitcase two dollars. Then while we can, we're going to muscle out. So one blood money, we gain a free dollar bill and we can move any figure to a new space and they won't get that ability and I think we're gonna move him and we'll put him in the gun dealership now my thoughts on doing this are it'll help me take control of Midtown which is probably for the best but I don't really want to shake down the gun dealership when Rogue has control of it, and then I'm giving guns to Rogue. So I figure this way I'm blocking that and making it slightly harder for her to get guns. When I don't really want to go there to get the guns anyway. Rogue's going to place her other family member just here. So she's going to get guns. So she did want guns, so I feel much more validated in doing that. Uh, she's going to get job. And the one she's going to discard is backroom deal and she also has two suitcases so she will suitcase two two dollar bills well we're gonna need guns for our shakedown job so I'm gonna put the family member there because that'll get us a gun so that's one of the two guns we need and it will also get us a narcotics so that actually means we could now do a shakedown which would be potentially very useful um, or we might just hold on to for now and try and collect more of the components without doing shakedowns. Because if we can get two of the other components, that'll put us closer. Anyway, we also get one dollar. Uh, we get a suitcase. So what do we want to suitcase? We'll go with three dollars. Rake's then going to send a thug down to the barber shop in Wall Street in order to take a job card and she's going to discard a shakedown card. I see the opportunity with this guy here to get control of the Upper East Side and maybe even the Upper West Side by placing this guy here. Plus that will give me more narcotics and more alcohol which I need for my shakedowns. In fact, that means I've got everything I need for my shakedowns now. And we also get another one dollar. And Oh, we get suitcase. Uh, unfortunately, all we have is one dollars. So we'll just be suitcasing one of those. Rogue is going to do another muscle in using two blood money. So she's going to pick this guy up, put him back down. So she gets the two blood money back. Uh, she should have got two money for that. 
She can suitcase money, so she'll suitcase one of the twos. And she can suitcase that, and she gets a job card for here. And I'm going to discard drive-by shooting. I'm going to place a fug in here, discard two ones to take a five. And because Rogue has control of the area, she can also do the same. So she will discard... She'll discard two twos, so not a huge difference, but of course easier for her to then place in the suitcase. Rogue's going to place a fug here, getting a narcotics and two dollars. Then down in Chelsea, I'm going to send the union boss, and he is going to go to the accounting office, which I control, so Rogue doesn't get to use it, and I'm going to suitcase five dollars. Rogue is going to do a muscled out job, so this will get her free money and will allow her to move a figure, so she's going to move this figure to there. I'm going to use a gun, an alcohol and a narcotics to complete shakedown. So that's going to be five money, very nice. And I can then shake down the building, which is going to be this one here. So I get a narcotics and two dollars. And this gets to go in the suitcase. So having muscled this guy out, she's now going to have a drive by shooting on him. So, off he goes, and she gains two two monies, which go in her hand, and she can suitcase this. My go, and I'm going to complete the last available job I have, this shakedown. So, we have two narcotics and an alcohol, which gets us five dollars. We can put the shakedown in our suitcase. And we're going to shake down here because we no longer have any jobs in hand. All we have is two five dollars, a two dollar, and this suitcase card. So let's see what jobs we can find. So we can either have another shakedown or we can finally get to uh, do a bit of gunning on <laughs> Rogue, which seems very tempting to be honest. Um, but the shakedown is more points, but there's not that big a difference in the points. So yeah, we're going to go for the take the cannoli. Rogue's also going to do a job. She's going to make me an offer I can't refuse, which requires alcohol because apparently she basically she's getting me drunk. I think this, this is the way this works. So she has to, I have to discard a card from my hand and she can choose it to suitcase it. So this would work better with more players, but she does also get free money, but she has a lot of money, so she's not too worried about that. Uh, I'll discard this two money. So she gets to suitcase two money. So all we have left is we could play our fug, but then that's us done. Or play our accountant here. So we're going to play the accountant and then add these two fives to our suitcase. And Rogue is going to do a muscle out. So this takes some blood money, uh, gives her free more money, which she doesn't really need. But the important thing is she can move a figure. And she's going to move the uh, union boss here. Because if he's moved out of there, she then gets there. And if she moves him, to here, it will mean that she keeps control of the Upper West Side. So, in effect, gaining her two territories with one action. Absolutely fantastic move on her part, if I do say so myself. So, all that's left is to place this fug. Now, Rogue still has a fug. So, pretty much, no matter where I play this, 
Well, actually, no, that's not the truth. If I go there, it's not going to make any difference, and I have nothing to suitcase, so I'd just get to suitcase that too. I could go get some blood money, and that would stop her taking control, but then she'd be able to just put a fug in there, and she'd still gain control. Uh, I could go here, which would just keep me control, but I have nothing to suitcase. Or I could go here and get first player and hopefully have a better round next round. And... That would also then give me control of the Upper East Side. So although I'm losing one, two there, I would then be gaining one, two. So I'd be staying even on the control front and gaining the first player. So yeah, let's go there. So we get the horse head and one dollar. And then it's Rogue. So with her last fug here, well, she's got the similar kind of concern, really. Um, she can go here, she'll already get control. She can go here, she's already got control. She can go here, she's already got control. So, the thing she needs to do most is suitcase. If she goes here in suitcases, I get to as well. So, she'll go here in suitcase. Uh, which also gives her two money that she doesn't really need. And she is going to suitcase, she'll suitcase a five. And that's the end of family business. On to turf war. So, Rogue only actually has one token left, which will go straight onto Wall Street there. Uh, then Brooklyn, she needs to place one there, so she's going to take one off of Wall Street to place on Brooklyn. Upper East Side, we get to place one. You, you notice she's out of tokens, we have a big giant stack still. Um, it's not been a good game for us. Then where are we? Number four, Queens. We get to take control of Queens. So this is pretty good, so we're going to have control of two pretty good areas um, for the final act. Hopefully that'll make some difference. Uh, Upper West Side doesn't change, unfortunately. Uh, Midtown, no tokens there. Chelsea, Rogue gets to place one, and she's going to take one off of. I think she's going to take one off of Wall Street to place on Chelsea. And on to bribes. And up for grabs is the Hollywood producer. For each turf you control, gain $5. Now this isn't a big deal for me, I only control two. What is a big deal is that Rogue controls five, so this would be 25 points. So I've got to kind of balance what's in my best interest, what's the best for me to bid in order to stop her basically getting that larger number of points. So I mean, it would gain me 10 and cost her 25. So, minus whatever she'd be paying. So that's kind of 35 that it's worth to me. How much do we have in here? Two fives. Three fives. Oh, money's all over the place. Don't have as much as I would like. So we've got three fives. Five fives. So one three and four twos. Oh, so I mean, this is kind of like as many points as we already have. And she's going to be getting the bonus points for turf at the end of the game. So we really can't afford to let her have this as well. So I'm inclined to say. I'm kind to say we go really big and we go for 10, 10 points worth. Maybe that's big enough, maybe it's not. Let's take a look inside her lid. So she has, oh, oh, ah, 11. She, oh, okay, okay, okay. So she is going to get the Hollywood producer. I suppose it's only fair that she gets one ally this game. 
and at least that means we keep those 10 points. But hey, we're going to be first player this time and we don't have to discard any cards, so that's potentially good as we're doing our tribute to the Don, whereas Rogue is going to have to discard a lot of cards. So this time hand limit is 6, but she's got 9 cards. And she is going to discard... She's going to discard a take the cannoli job and two twos. Then we collect up our figures, get two new jobs out, which is a backroom deal and a backroom deal. So these allow you to move money into your suitcase, a very useful point in the game for these kind of jobs to come out really. And it's on to the final act, the betrayal. So we each get our final family members and our final business appearing in Queens is Polk's Hobby Shop which has narcotics for some reason and it's on to family business and for once I get to go first and with the jobs that have come out I think the most sensible thing to do is place a family member here because that will then give us an alcohol and a narcotics meaning we have what we need to complete one of the backroom deals and it does also give us one dollar and we can do a suitcase so we might as well put a one dollar in a suitcase Rogue is going to start probably sensibly by playing the Hollywood producer so she gets one, two, three, four, five, five dollars. One, two, three, four, five into her hand. Then I could use some firearms for my take the cannoli job and blocking her getting access to wilds and to the alcohol to stop her getting the backroom deals and getting mu allowing me to get the backroom deals seems highly important right now. So if we go here, that blocks one of the spaces and means that we get a narcotics and a gun. And we can put one dollar that we have in our suitcase. Rogue's going to send a family member to the Central Park bordering Chelsea and Upper West Side. So she can suitcase two and she's going to do two five dollars and she also gets an alcohol card. Urgh, we need to stop her getting another one. Don't think it's going to be possible to stop her getting another one. Ah, So we have the cards to be able to do a backroom deal but we don't have the money to actually put. So if we go to St George Hotel that'll at least give us a bit of money and also narcotics which is going to be useful for something shortly. Rogue's then going to put a leader here so that she can suitcase five dollars get a narcotics and also two blood money but she's less worried about those really. So we use an alcohol and narcotics to do a backroom deal which gets us two two dollars and we can show up to free money and suitcase them so there we go free twos and of course we get to suitcase the backroom deal itself and then rogue is gonna copy me she's gonna do exactly the same narcotics and an alcohol getting her two two dollars and she'll go two fives and a three that she'll be suitcasing along with the backroom deal. My final family member I'm going to put here so I get two blood money which will hopefully be useful. Um, I could suitcase but I have nothing to suitcase sadly but what I really want is a job. So, oh, we're not going to have much choice here then. So, shakedown or shakedown, we'll be taking a shakedown. On the bright side, we do already have the cards we need for it. 
rogue's last family member is going to go here and that will be two suitcases so she's going to suitcase two freeze and she gets a gun and a job we're then going to do a shakedown so we've got narcotics guns and blood money and that'll get us five money and allow us to shake down a building and we're going to shake down the job building and see if we can't get something else useful do we even have a choice this time yes we do oh in fact a tough choice because intimidation adding a control marker like we could get control of wall street here potentially um or gun down figures or gun, gun down one figure could give us control of some territory ah Oh, that's a very, very tough choice. I mean, we've still got a blood money in hand and a narcotics. Um, and we've already got a job that wants a gun. Oh, I should have kept... Never mind. Um, so I think, I think we'll get rid of the drive-by shooting and keep the intimidation. Rogue would like some narcotics so she's gonna to go to the hobby shop so she gets a narcotics and can suitcase some money which is gonna be two dollars and because I control Queens I get the same a narcotics and I can suitcase some money. I only have the one, so that'll be my $5. I'm gonna send a fug to pick up some guns. And that does mean Rogue gets guns as well. And Rogue's gonna send a fug to the family bar to pick up some alcohol. Well, I want this guy out of my hobby shop, so let's take the cannoli on him. So that gives free money. And he goes bye bye to the Hudson. Rogue's then gonna do a backroom deal from her hand. And she's gonna suitcase free money. Or free twos, I should say. So there's no more spaces here in Midtown. I have two to Rogue's one. So I'm gonna place one. She's already got two there. So if I use intimidation, so two narcotics and the blood money, I can add one of my control markers to there, which then means when I add a second one, I'll be on top and have equal number, so I will get the five points for that. Makes sense. And it also gives me two frees, which isn't too bad at all. Then across the river in Queens, this fug is going to go to the cemetery and we'll discard two firearms to gain five dollars. And I'm then going to use the family accountant to put two of these frees in the suitcase. Rogue has no figures left, so it's still with me. Um, so We'll put the union boss out and he can go to the Upper East Side getting me one money. And then finally this fug will go here getting me blood money. And that's the end of family business. On to the turf war and Wall Street uh, stays the same so no change there. Uh, Brooklyn I have two so I get to add a token. Upper East Side, I have two to the one neutral, so I get to add a token. Queens, uh, Rogue gets to add one. So she'll take it from Brooklyn because she's not going to get that anyway. Then Upper West Side, Rogue gets to add one and she'll take it from Chelsea, Midtown, 
we get to add one, x2 to the one, and finally Chelsea, two of rogues only, so she gets to add one, and she'll take the one she just put on the upper west side back, so that she keeps control of both of those. So there's no bribery, then we have the tribute to the Don, we discard down to two cards, which, if they're money cards, can go in the suitcase. So Rogue has two and a five going in hers, and we're going to have a three and a one going into ours. Then our end game scoring. So turf bonuses. Wall Street, Rogue gets one. Brooklyn, we get one. Upper East Side, we get one. Queens, Rogue gets one. Upper West Side, Rogue gets it, because it's one apiece. And then Midtown, it's two apiece, but we're on top, so we get that one. And then Chelsea, Rogue gets. So we pulled it back, we ended up getting three on the area control. Did not expect that uh, earlier on in the game at all. So let's now take a look at jobs. So this is rogue's money. She has a lot of money in here guys. Uh, right. So she has one, two yellow. One, two, three, grey, three, four, five, six green, a third yellow, and a fourth grey. So she only has three of the colours, that might bode well for us. Let's take a look in ours. So, let's sort the money to the side for now. Got one green, one grey, one blue, one yellow. Some more money to the side, more money, that's what we want. We need lots of this. Got a fair chunk of it here, so that's good. Uh, some more fives, very nice. Another green, another yellow, blue, 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 green. You see, unfortunately, I had loads and loads of blue and she didn't do any blue well, I say unfortunately it does mean that we get five but it means that we had much less on the other colors so she's actually got the majority on all of the other colors so she gets most money from that as well so then counting up so from bonuses we have 20 and Rogue has 10, 20, 30, 35. So remember those. So Rogue has 77 in money plus 35 in bonuses. So that is 112. We're not going to come close, guys, are we? Well, let's have a look. We've got 10, 20, 30, 42. 56, 60, so we, we had 60 in money plus our 20 from bonuses, 80 compared to Rogue's astounding 112. And that's The Godfather by Simon. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give a comment below and also a like and a share and take a look at the other videos on the channel and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.